I'm Hugh and this is a lesson in my Adventure Game Programming course. Let's see how to write a very simple Java program in NetBeans. If you're already an experienced Java programmer or if you plan to follow this course using the C-sharp language, you can skip this lesson and go on to the lesson that explains how to write a main loop. First load NetBeans. Well, this is NetBeans 12. There may be slight differences in other versions and select File, New Project and up pops this dialog box. So here I'm going to select Java with Maven. Now Maven is just a tool that helps manage programming projects and in the right hand pane I have to make sure that Java application is selected then I click next. Now in this dialog I enter a name for my project and I'll just call this test. And at this point I could if I wanted to browse to a specific location on disk um, I'm just accepting the default at the moment, so I'll click Finish. And the new project is now loaded into this projects window, which is uh, the approximate equivalent of the Solution Explorer that we've seen in Visual Studio. And I'm now ready to start writing some code. So here's my source code packages, and I need to create a main code file. So I select New Java Class, New Java Class, prompts me for a name. Well, I'm going to uh, call it Hello World. Just click Finish here and up pops the code here. Well, it's already created an empty class for me, so I need now to write a method or function in this class to run. This is going to be my main method, so that's public static void. main and I'll get some string arguments. I'm not going to be using these but by convention um, pair of curly brackets and some code to write hello world at the system prompt. My string exclamation mark is all the syntax correct. Let me do a quick check. That looks okay. Oops, no, string I've mistyped up here. Right, so that's all correct. So I'm going to save it and run it by clicking this little arrow up here. So that will compile it. Oh, first of all, it prompts me for a main class. Well, I've only got one class. So I'm going to select that and it runs it in this docked program down here. You see all sorts of uh, messages about the progress and there's the final output. Hello world. In the next lesson, we'll start to write the main loop of a program to let the player enter commands. Now to be notified by email whenever I publish a new lesson, subscribe to the Code With You channel and click the bell icon. Right, on to the next lesson.